all right y'all so i am here at longhorns and i'm waiting on my table so they told me it'll be about 20 minutes so i say well let's find something to talk about in 20 minutes you know what i'm saying so what i wanted to do was i i just really want to stress you know what i'm saying making time for yourself I know y'all looking at me crazy like girl your kids is older you ain't got to worry about them this then the third but once once upon a time my son was small too and i thought that i can't do no i can't have no free time to myself i can't do anything for me with kids or with a kid or whatever but that's not true just gotta be creative tweak it a little bit because i used to you know say so i used to do little things for myself when my son would take a nap or if he's outside playing or something like that i mean i used to find a way to try to cater to me in a small way you know what i'm saying but after a while that dwindled too and i just threw my poor little self right out the window it was like you know what bump it it's just too much to try to do something for me because i can't go shopping without thinking about oh i need to get something for my kids it was a struggle but you know what i actually did not walk over to the men's section when i went in city trans to go get nothing not a piece of deodorant not a piece of shirt not a piece of cologne no nothing because normally when i go up in city trans i usually grab something for you know my son myself my sons and myself whether it be just something small or whatever i usually go in there and be like i'm gonna go get myself something but I never successfully just go in there and get myself something. I always come back with something for somebody else. And so today I walked up in that store and I thought about myself. I say it, y'all, but it is hard. And I know it's a struggle that we all have when it comes to having our children. You rather do for your kids. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that because you're doing what you're supposed to do. But we tend to forget about ourselves and our self-love and taking care of ourselves that's all a part of mental health to me because when you can't get a, a time to yourself just to breathe and gather your thoughts gather yourself for just a minute it drives you up the wall everything just start piling up on top of you on top of you because you can't find a way to release you can't get past this without this happening and i get it mamas and daddies out here doing it by yourself or with a partner and it's still kind of hard to get time for yourself i don't care if it's hiding out in the tub taking a bubble bath and reading you a book sipping you some wine or something if it makes you feel good and it make you feel like oh i'm doing such a big thing right now because i'm in the tub i got my fruit i got my my wine or my water or whatever it is and i got me a nice little book even if I only get a chapter or a page or whatever, it's something. And you can just start making steps towards doing it a little bit bigger the next time, a little bit bigger the next time, do a little more the next time. You know what I'm saying? Until you get to a place where it's working for you and now you're able to get some real time for yourself. You know what I'm saying? We Even if we got kids, we still got to try to find a way to do something because it is important that we take care of ourselves, y'all. Am I on a healthy streak right now? No, no, ma'am. No, sir. I'm not. Am I working on that? Yes, I am. But I got to find what's going to work for me because everything that works for everybody else may not work for me. And there's a lot of things that I have to consider as far as what I'm allergic to and what I'm not allergic to. And so I see a whole lot of stuff. I got to look into this chlorophyll because I want to get some healthy stuff inside of my body because I do realize that the food that we're eating now, y'all this food ain't real no more some some wrong with it and everybody talking about it everybody talking about how this food is not healthy that we're eating and even when they say oh it's vegan and it's this it's that but there's still a whole lot of stuff that they done stuck in there that makes it not as healthy as they're proclaiming it to be to be so you got to figure out what works for you and i got to figure out what works for me you know what i'm saying and i'm i'm saying the same thing as far as getting your time to yourself and just doing something for you if you have to take it in small increments do something for yourself to show yourself appreciation because if you don't appreciate yourself 
nobody else can appreciate you. And I'm talking like this, y'all, because it's making a difference in my life right now. Like, I'm feeling so good right now because these were the things that I struggled to do for myself. Things I struggled to do for myself feeling like I didn't deserve the things that I wanted to do to make me happy. I'm always making other people happy. I want to make sure my my children are satisfied. I want to make sure my spouse is satisfied. And look, my, my spouse, my, my, my poster B ain't even here no more. And I don't put all that time into pleasing and making sure somebody else was good. And them people ain't even here no more. So let's stop wasting our time, guys, and start putting our energy and our time and stuff that can put back into us. Because loving on ourselves is part of mental health. It really is. We, we, we don't need other people to beat us down because we can do a great job at it ourselves. And that's not right. But just like we can beat ourselves up, 100% go in, sucker punch ourselves and beat ourselves down about all the wrong we doing, all the things that we're not accomplishing right now. Like we can't make a change. We can make a change. We just got to want to do it, y'all. We just got to want to do it. And I just want everybody to just learn to love on yourself because it helps. It really do. Do whatever you can do for your finances, for however you got with your, your, your family situation. Do what you can do. But the smallest thing can make a difference. Whether it be like, you know what? I'm going to go to the grocery store and I'm going to go and get the kids, this, this, that, and the third. And then you walk in there and you're like, I'm going to get myself one thing. And then when you go to get that one thing that you want, all of them feelings start fluttering you. Like, well, no, just get, get more stuff for the kids because the kids can use this. The husband can use that. The, the, the school need this and this, that, and the third. And then you just throwing yourself to the back burner. It's like, nah. Everything else is more important. I'll just, I'll go without so that everybody else can have. It's time out for that. Unless you're in a serious situation where, say, it's, it's your lights versus your kids just running in the store and saying they want this and they want that. And you want to try to make it happen. By all means, pay your light bill because that is part of taking care of your kids. And if they ain't got no lights, how they going to see? How you going to cook a meal? for them you can improvise so everything i'm saying there's a way around everything we just got to figure it out y'all and guess what i'm with y'all because i'm still figuring it out yeah i have older kids but it is still a struggle for me to do for me i go bust my behind and go to work i pay the bills i make sure everybody is straight my kids look out for me too. So I'm not even going to act like I just do, do, do. But before they was able to help me out and, you know, take care of me and look out for me and stuff, I was the one who was doing all that stuff. And I wouldn't change that for nothing in the world. But I'm just saying, it's important to find a little something to do for you that makes you happy. Makes you happy. You deserve it. We be walking around here giving work all our time, giving our kids all of our time, giving our spouses all of our time. We give everything else so much time. And the two people we neglect is ourselves and God. And both of those things need to be taken care of to keep you going in your everyday life. If we ain't taking care of ourselves mentally, the whole house going to be jacked up. Because you know, your household kind of goes off of of your energy so if your energy is always bad and negative everything around you is going to be bad and negative so we got to change our vibration guys let's let's just start doing something different to get a better outcome in our lives because if the old ways ain't working it's time to do something different to get a different result but starting to love on yourself is one important thing that we got to do. And I'm preaching to myself because I struggle with this thing too. 
I would usually be feeling bad. So I know I'm growing. I know I'm growing in this area because even though I would take myself out on dates, even though I would go to the store and buy myself something and don't get my kids anything or whatever, but then turn around and still get my kids something because I just can't feel, I can't sit with the, just going to get myself something and not bringing nothing back for the rest of the house. You know what I'm saying? I'm growing in this area where today I'm actually focusing on me. Ain't no, okay, I'm a, the, the day is going to be all about me, but I, I still want to just grab my boy something. In my heart, I do. I really want to go and just find stuff because for one, they out of town. They away from me. It's so I miss my boys. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when you be in situations like that, you miss your kids. You like, oh. Let me get this for my baby. So when they come back, I can see a smile on their face. They said, I want to do that, y'all. So I'm fighting with myself to like, no, uh-uh. Today, it's all about you. You always think of everybody else. You always cut yourself short. When it's just supposed to be about you, you always sneak somebody else in there some kind of way to care for them or to make them happy. Make yourself happy. Go get them daggone cookies you've been putting back on the shelf or whatever. What are, It ain't even got to be the cookies, y'all. I'm just saying, look at the big picture. Whatever it is that you keep telling yourself, I'm going to do this for myself, but then you turn around and you, you backtrack on yourself. You renege on yourself just to make others happy. You worth it. You deserve it everything that you want you put your time in you did the work now go out there and and do what makes you happy because if you're happy then your household is happy everything around you will start looking a little bit positive and y'all that sounds so easier said than done i know what you're talking about i can i can feel it y'all i know what y'all saying girl shut that mess up because you just talking like that because your kids is older and you can move around. But I'm still in the mindset that my boys is, is younger and I still got to do this for them and I got to do that for them. They get on to me like, mama, go do for you. Don't worry about us. We may bother with you and, you know what I'm saying, pretend like, oh, mama, make sure you bring us something to eat if you going out by yourself to go out to eat or whatever. Bring me back a plate. My son be like, because he know I will. You know what I'm saying? So he be like, mama, I know you. He's like, don't you get me no plate. It, that's a shame, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all, I'm bad at this too. I'm bad at this too. So we going to work it out together. So if this is encouraging you, baby, I'm going to keep doing it. Till you see that you are worth it and you deserve just as much energy that you put into other people and, and time into other people and stuff, baby, you know, they say things are contagious. And so hopefully this is a contagious trend for everybody. Everybody, we all need to, you know, just love on ourselves because it's important. A lot of us are walking around here looking for people to love us. And it's hard to love yourself because you don't think highly of yourself. Used to feel that way, but I'm getting better with it now. I'm getting better with it now because I can't depend on somebody else for my happiness. I got to give myself happiness. And so that way I will attract happiness. And is it, do it, does it just work like that? No, it don't. No, it don't. It don't work like that. But if you put your mind to something, anything is possible with Christ who strengthens you. At the end of the day, I don't care how much you try to throw God to the side or throw him to the back burner, baby, you need him. You need him. And once you come to that, then things will start looking a little bit better and they get a little bit easier. You still gonna go through trials. You still gonna go through tests. You still gonna go through some things, but you gonna learn to let God fight your battles and you're going to learn how to pass these tests that he keep throwing your way over and over and over again until you get it. And once you pass it, then that, that won't be a test you got to take no more because you, you've aced it with flying colors. But besides all that, I just want you to fall in love with yourself. When I say fall in love with yourself, fall in love with yourself. 
learn about you figure out what makes you happy do what makes you happy at the end of the day because ain't nobody else gonna do it for you we can wait on them and wait on them and wait on them, do all the things that we won't give up all the money in our bank accounts wear ourselves out till we're tired and they still ain't gonna appreciate you the way that you appreciate yourself because i'm learning that with loving yourself and falling in love with yourself makes you set boundaries makes you have standards and makes you set boundaries and so yeah what's wrong with that ain't nothing wrong with that we need a little of that in our lives especially if we've been going through the same thing over and over and over again and it ain't been working for us it's time to do something different but what i want us to do is fall in love with ourselves it feels different it feels good and it's a struggle when you're not used to loving yourself it really is but we gonna get through it y'all we really are and so i love y'all have a great day i thank y'all for pumping me up and encouraging me through this thing y'all because then i'm i'm not a professional at this i'm learning and i'm walking y'all through my journey this is my healing journey from from abandoning myself throwing myself to the to the wolves and putting everybody else ahead of me and my heart, my feelings, my desires and everything that I want for me, I'm now putting me first and it feels good. And I want everybody to learn to do that. So I love y'all have a great day. They just sent me a text saying my table is ready. So I'm about to go in here and um, have a date with myself. So I love y'all, stay tuned.